Your bathroom fan all of a sudden doesn't work. The lights work, but the fan doesn't come on. So do you have to replace that? Let's see. Step one. A lot of the fans have uh, little spring handles for attachments. So can you see in there? See that? See that? Did you know that? I didn't know that for a long time. And then I was like, oh, that's easy. This has a plug. This is the motor. I'm gonna link below to these. I'm gonna link to all the tools that I use. Oh, I just turned it off. Turn it on. It's gonna make a happy sound like that. This is a non-contact electrical tester. So you can find out whether wires have energy in them, whether they're, so you don't shock yourself. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm diagnosing. Power is on. God, I can't shove my head up in here and try and show you this. But see how that's blinking? That means that there is energy or electricity going to that motor, but the motor isn't turning on. And this is a cheap bathroom fan, so basically the motor is dead. And normally you're thinking, oh, okay, the motor's broken. I gotta rip the whole fan out and replace it. Maybe not. It depends on the model and the make, but let me show you. This has little tabs and has instructions on how to remove the motor. This has a little tab here and I can shove it under here and do this while holding the camera. This would be fun, won't it? This takes a little to, oh, first, um, unplug that, like that. I could turn on the headlamp, would that help? There we go. Yeah, that's seen some time. This looks pretty clean in here. Uh, you just want to clean this dust out if you want. I'm, I'm not gonna. But it has a plug and then this mounting area here. And on here, it has the model number of this fan. So if you use that thing called the internet, you can find companies that sell replacement fan assemblies for that model of fan, which is so much easier than having to rip that thing out of the ceiling, because you know what that would involve. Oh, look, look what showed up. I actually ordered this the other day because um, I wanted to show you guys how to do this. But this is a little pricey, but it's a lot cheaper than your time. It's cheaper than buying a whole new fan, but I mean, the motor's the most expensive part of a fan you'd anyway. The rest of it's just tin. So literally we're gonna pop this puppy in and I think it'll turn on. And uh, well, that would be the end of the video, but <laughs> here you go. This is a lot of fun to do one-handed while holding the camera, but See those tabs right in there? They just lock in. And then on this side, you push this up and we want to lock the center tab. Come on. There we go. That is locked in. That has uh, seen quite, I mean, look at all that dirt. I think the dirt come makes the motor fail. I mean, I usually clean these out. You can literally pop the, the cover off and shove a vacuum up in there because heat and motors are not friends. So if you can clean this thing out every once in a while, it goes a long way toward not having to replace it and hold it up with one arm and hold the camera with the other arm here. So, all right, let's see what happens. One more thing. You may not be able to buy the assembly. You might be able to order the motor though. And yeah, it's like four screws, but I'm gonna, you have a screwdriver, right? If you don't, you're gonna look at my tool selection. That's linked below, right? Try and find the motor, because it's a, it's a lot easier than pulling that whole puppy out of the ceiling. I got bathroom dust on all over my new camera here. Yuck. New, shiny, no dust. How cool is that, huh? And we saved a bunch of money. Another tip here. When you're vacuuming the bathroom, vacuum out this cover as well. This gets full of dust. It doesn't pull the moist air out of your bathroom and it overheats the motor. So, nice, huh? More information about me down below. See you next video. Right there.